Hey everyone, Justin here from the Bill Coors Wellness Center. Coming at you with your Wednesday stretch break. I wanted to give you five seated stretches that you can do uh, while you're at work, uh, when you get home and you're just sitting in your recliner, um, really anywhere where you can find a spot to take a seat if you're not already seated. Um, these are five stretches that will help stretch out the entire body and hopefully get you feeling uh, much more loose and relaxed than you were before. So for the first one, we're going to be doing a seated QL stretch. And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to sit upright. If we have a chair that has an arm, we're going to grab the arm across our body. Otherwise, you'd grab the base of the, the chair that you're sitting in. Um, and then from here, I'm going to pull as the same time as I reach overhead and across my body. So I'm shooting to feel a stretch through the QL muscle. So you're going to be feeling this in the obliques, but the QL is a muscle kind of near the kidney. So it's going to, you're going to feel the stretch in the low back. We're going to hold this for 30 seconds, and then we'll go to the other side. And you're just taking nice, big, deep breaths in through the nose. That'll help expand your diaphragm and give you an enhanced stretch, and then out through the mouth. Once you've got 30 seconds there, you've taken about five or so deep breaths. We're gonna relax and switch to the other side. So cross over that body, grab that base of the chair or the arm itself. We're gonna pull as we push with the other arm. So we're really feeling that stretch down the side of the body, through the ribs, as well as in the low back area, right around here. And let's hold for another five, four, three, two, one. Relax. That's it for the seated QL stretch. So we're gonna to move to seated book openers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the chair with one arm while the other comes um, behind the head. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to keep the hips still as we open as far as we can. And then close, so you're focusing on opening the elbow and the chest as far as you can, getting as much rotation through the spine as possible. Hold that spot for a second or two, and then come back to the start. We're doing five on this side, here's three. And you're gonna feel that shoulder blade squeeze into the other one when you're doing this, and that's exactly what we're going for. Let's go for one more. Good, and then relax. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Hand behind the head, keep the lower body still. Pretty much everything from uh, just above the navel down needs to be still as possible as I try to get as much rotation through my middle spine or thoracic spine as possible. We're going for three here, so shooting for five on each side. Here's four. And the last one, one second pause, squeeze between the shoulder blades, and then bring it back to the start. Then we're gonna to move to a seated glute and low back stretch. For this, you're gonna cross one leg over the opposite. We're gonna do this stretch for 30 seconds. Once you've got it crossed over, I want you to grab the knee. Notice that if my left leg is up, I'm really grabbing with the right arm. And then from here, I'm gonna to try to turn behind me. So if I can grab the back of my seat, that's gonna help me twist a little more but I'm feeling this stretch in the glute muscle primarily and I'm getting a little bit of a low back stretch as well from the rotation so we're gonna hold here for 30 seconds let's say we're about halfway already and then of course we're taking nice deep breaths never hold your breath through any of these stretches actually breathing deeply in through the nose is gonna help to enhance the stretch as you go through these. And five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna relax and switch it to the other side. So cross that ankle over. Opposite arm is gonna pull, and then I'm going to try to turn behind me. So I'm both pulling from the knee, and if I've got a back on my chair, I can help use that to help me get twisted a little more so I feel that stretch a little more deeply. Big deep breaths, try not to hunch over, stay as upright as possible. 
and we've got five, four, three, two, one. Good, that's it for that seated glute and low back stretch. Then we're gonna move to a chin tuck stretch. So oftentimes when we're driving, when we're at the computer, when we're on our phone, we're constantly hunched over, which in turn gives us a forward head posture. So what we're gonna do is we're going to stretch the muscles um, <clears throat> on the, and we're gonna activate the muscles that help to bring our chin back. And then that's gonna help us stretch some of these deep neck muscles. So what I want you to do is you're gonna take one hand, it doesn't matter which one, find the webbing between your thumb and your index finger. We're gonna use that to push the neck. So I'm gonna sit up straight and push. At the same time as I'm pushing, I'm gonna take the other hand and put it at the top, the back of my head. From here, we're gonna do 10 second holds and we're gonna do three of them. And all I'm gonna do is try to give myself a double chin. I'm gonna push with the webbing as I pull up with this other hand that's behind my head. 10 second hold. You should feel some pressure in the back of the neck, in the base of the skull, and then release. So that's one. If you want to, you can switch up hand, which hand's pushing. So we're really just focused on retracting, which is pulling that chin back. Give ourselves, a, this is the one time where a, a double chin is good. And we're gonna take that webbing, push back as I pull from behind the head. 10 second hold here. And then relax, we've got one more. Switch it up again if you want, with which hand's doing which. And then we're gonna push with that webbing on the chin, give ourselves that double chin and pull with the other hand. And three two, one, relax. So that's it for that chin tuck stretch. And the last one we're gonna do are some seated nerve glides. So what you're gonna do is scoot yourself to the edge of your chair. I'm gonna have one leg up, one leg straight out with the knee extended. From here, I'm gonna have both hands at the top of my thigh to apply a little bit of pressure. And then I'm going to hinge forward. So I'm going to, as I lean forward, I'm gonna point the toe. So let me scoot back so you can see my toe a little more, but we're gonna go for 10 of these. And so what we're gonna do is, as I hinge forward at the torso, I'm trying to keep my chest up. I don't wanna just bend the back and turtle shell it like this. I wanna to try to stay in a good alignment with my spine and just lean forward. As I lean forward, I'm gonna press this toe out. And then as I come up, I'm pulling it back towards me. So that's one and just kind of go slow and controlled in and out of this. There's three, four. So we're getting the nerve, the, the side nerve to actually glide in its sheathing. And we're also getting a nice hamstring stretch at the same time. There's six, there's seven, shooting for a total of 10. This is a great one to do multiple times a day, as is that chin tuck exercise or stretch that we just did. Good, and we're gonna do one more. And then switch legs, edge of the seat, straighten that knee, apply a little bit of pressure on the top thigh, and as I go to lean forward, I'm pointing the toe, and then coming back up, doing this 10 times. There's two. There's three, really feeling that stretch through the back of the leg and that hamstring. There's five, six, seven, eight. So I'm fully trying to hinge forward and then come back up. There's nine, and we've got one more. And there's 10. So hopefully you enjoyed those five seated stretches that you can do just about anywhere, whether it be at work or at the house. And uh, let us know how it goes, and we'll see you next time for our next stretch break. Take care.